Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello, stock friends checking in on SPY, IWM, QQQ, and VIX. To start off the week, we had further pullback. Started the day looking very much like it was going to be an inside day. There was some choppy action in the morning. I very quickly determined it wasn't the kind of day that I want to trade in personally because I want to have the odds in my favor and I want there to be high volatility and some consistency in terms of direction. But uh, we did at the end of the day see a clear bear break. And once that low of the day did break, there was a nice quick pullback. So there was definitely a trade in there. And there's, you know, other individual names that had trades. But we did see a lower high and a lower low. Not a significant lower low. We only broke the low of Friday by 26 cents. We have a lower wick of bulls buying the dip at the end of the day. Not significant bit dip buying. The hourly chart is still lower highs and lower lows. So we are still consolidating. But the daily chart is still higher lows. So you can see three bull days last week and then three bear days and we haven't given it all back we're pretty much back at break even with where we were before the last six trading days so the higher low that i'm looking at on the daily time frame is 26401 as long as that holds the daily higher lows in are intact so we're pretty much going to have to lose the daily middle bollinger band in order to lose the daily higher low pattern and if that happens that can make us a lot more confident that the weekly chart has set its lower high with the big upper wick and the back test and rejection from the middle bollinger band last week so Bears want to see further downside because this is not convincing confirmation of the bearish reversal candlestick from last week. And the question is, do we lose that daily higher low pattern? Right now, the sentiment definitely favors yes, we will. And that was what that's what would need be need to be required if we were going to pull all the way back here and form a higher low to stay in this equilibrium pattern like we are looking for. And I would be looking in the low 260s for a potential ideal level. Just visual estimation, certainly not going to pinpoint targets. But so far, that visual estimation has worked pretty well as that gap fill on SPY. Remember, that was our target here to fill the gap at 270.19. And we got over that level by a dollar and then pulled back. So now looking at IWM on the daily, still pulling back here as well. We filled the gap on the daily on Friday. Lower wick here as well, but... Again, no signs that the trend changes or that the bounce is going to play out here until we see it on the hourly time frame first. Same story, higher low is 153.51. We are still above that level. Look at that resistance band of, or I should say support band, middle Bollinger band, 50 day and 100 day moving average all lining up at the same level and potentially in play this week if we do continue pulling back. Tech sector earnings are this week. That's obviously a very significant factor. And we just had Google earnings pretty much flat. We've got Amazon coming up and uh, Apple coming up and a whole lot to be watching. So what we're looking at now is the weekly equilibrium. So there's our big upper wick. There's our bearish reversal candlestick. And again, we're not following through yet. We're forming an inside bar. Obviously, it's only been one trading day of the week. The bears need more downside here. We need to confirm these candlesticks and continue tightening up in this pattern. QQQ will have the most significant reaction to earnings this week with the tech sector. We are back testing and holding a middle Bollinger Band. But look at us. We're right there at that higher low now. And that's at 160.67, and we came pretty close to that level. So that is looking like it's going to be tested first out of the big three of these markets here. Uh, looks like QQQ is going to test support first. Checking in on the weekly time frame for QQQ, it's still a higher low, higher high pattern, but this is potentially a lower high with the right shoulder on the weekly time frame, and we could be looking for a pullback back down for that higher low. VIX on the daily. Could be a bear flag. Absolutely. Can't lose sight of that. That is a perfect bear flag setup at this point. The bulls can pretty easily shake that off with a, a big move up and doesn't even have to be a big move, but just a clear break of 1750, get over these exponential moving averages. But if they can't, and if we pull back and you know, the fact that we're seeing a red day when the market was red, if we do pull back here on VIX, we're looking down at 1457. And if that level breaks, it's down to 1331. And that would be significantly bearish if we do confirm this bear flag, because the weekly time frame is trying to form this equilibrium as well. And we would still be holding the low of 1331. That's the must hold level. But it's not obviously it's the bulls want this to be their higher low from last week, which is a bullish reversal hammer. And they want to try and confirm that but they're off to a rough start this week. So even though there is some market weakness, we're not seeing much VIX strength, certainly not to start the week, and we'll see if that turns around. But I personally, I did trade it once last week on VIX, and I'm going to be sitting out trading VIX uh, where we stand currently on this chart. 
So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day.